Hey everybody, Tyler is here at the RA3D competition, checking in with First at Michigan State and the Robot in Three Days Robot. I'm here with Eliza and Sherson, and we're going to be talking about uh, what went into this in just a few days and how you created it. And uh, hopefully you got to see somebody compete here as well too at the competition. All this and more are coming up on First Updates Now. Your destination for first content, updates, and gaming. Well, welcome, welcome to, to the fun. fun. Get ready to celebrate your Rapid React build season with Premiere Night on Saturday, February 26 at 6 p.m. Eastern at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. This year, no matter where you are in creating your robot, submit a 90 second or less video celebrating your build season to Premiere Night. Submissions are due by the end of Thursday, February 24th, and you can get more details on any fun social channel or at firstupdatesnow.com forward slash Premiere 22. So tell us a little bit more about uh, what went into your robot in just a few days and walk us through a nice uh, overview of what went into it. Absolutely. So like every team, we started out with brainstorming and we knew we wanted to do a floor intake into the lower or the higher goal. So right here we have our intake. It's four wheels that uh, pick up the ball and then surgical tubing backed on back plexi in order to bring it up like a little elevator. And then after it goes into, through the elevator, it goes into our flat flywheel, which is basically the ball is pressed up against this, so there's uh, a bit of squish, and then this spins and it shoots the ball. When you're going into uh, some of the concepting for the game here, like what made you choose to go with this type of intake and that way to index? Absolutely. So um, two years ago, we actually did a floor intake, and they're my personal favorite because there's tons of balls all over the floor. Um, so we kind of viewed that as essential because that's where all the cargo was going to be. And the flywheel with variable speeds allowed us to do the lower and the higher. Uh, talk to me about uh, with the Colson wheels, uh, what have you seen by using that as a uh, type of uh, flywheel? Um, so flywheels I've seen in the past have more grip. Uh, we, I haven't, we haven't seen much of a difference, um, except for definitely uh, grip will grab the ball better and shoot it, and, but these work just as well. Um, there's not much of a difference. So you got a climber on your robot, talking a little about uh, what went into and how it works. Absolutely. So we had a lot of variation in our design. We started off with a classic two-stage elevator, um, and then last minute switched to a hook. Um, so it's not quite working, but we hope that we can inspire teams with their designs. Um, it is a three-rope kind of wench system, um, and then a plexiglass hook. So robot in three days, obviously you've only had uh, a few days to create this. What lessons learned would you give to uh, teams as they're creating their robots during the Rapid React season? Absolutely. Definitely have all the ideas. Throw everything possible that you think of out there and then kind of scale down from there. Um, once you have a design, stick with it. Try to troubleshoot it. Um, it's hard to change designs afterwards. Well, Michigan State, thanks a lot for taking the time. Tell us more about your robot here in just three days. Uh, good luck at this competition, but keep inspiring other teams. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.